My Fitness Pal, how to. I'm gonna be covering the three basics that you need, setting the number of calories you need for your goals, the macros for your goals, and then how to scan or input the food into the app. Also, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you how to put in a whole day's worth of food with just a few clicks that we can probably do in under five seconds, so stick around. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. I'm gonna spare you the long intro and just dive into the video because I know you're here and you're looking for information. Let's get into it. MyFitnessPal is a free calorie counting app in the App Store that you can use to either lose weight, maintain weight, or gain weight. I'm going to be covering how to lose weight primarily, but I will be touching on how to maintain and gain weight. Calories in versus calories out is the ultimate determining factor of are you going to lose weight, lose fat, or gain weight, gain fat. It's as simple as that. Energy balance is how you drop weight or add weight to your frame. The cool thing about MyFitnessPal or energy balance is you can abide by flexible nutrition, aka flexible dieting, which means that you can eat pretty much what you want if you abide by the calories of your goals. The question is, what's your goal? Are you trying to lose weight or fat? Trying to maintain? Are you trying to gain weight or gain muscle? Once you've established that, then we can figure out which direction to go. I'm gonna be speaking to primarily people wanting to lose weight because a lot of people that use MyFitnessPal are trying to lose weight. Just wanted to take a second to say thank you for watching this video. If you are appreciating this content, can you do me a flavor? Hit the like button. It's gonna help this video get to other people that it's also gonna help. I appreciate you. You have to be in a caloric deficit. And what that means is taking in less calories than your body actually needs. So typically, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 calories under your maintenance calories is what you need to do to shoot for one to two pounds per week of dropping weight. Typically, 500 calories can lead to a pound. Those numbers are not concrete. It's very dependent person to person. You're gonna have to play with these numbers, but we need a starting point. I would always err on the side of caution and go with 500 to start. So if your goal is to maintain your weight, then that simply means you need to consume as many calories as your body is going to burn, which means you're not gonna gain weight and you're not gonna lose weight. If you're trying to gain weight, then that means you need to be in a caloric surplus. So anything above your maintenance calories, say 500 to 1,000, very similar to the folks that are trying to lose weight, that's gonna add about one to two pounds depending on who you are. So you're eating more calories than your body can burn at rest. Again, these numbers shouldn't be taken literally. This is very person dependent. Okay, so you know your goal, right? Head to the App Store, whether you have Android or iOS, and download MyFitnessPal. So I'm going into my phone. What I want you to do is go down to the bottom right to the More tab. I want you to then choose Goals. You might have already done some of this setting up your profile, but if you haven't already, go ahead and do this. You need to put in your current weight, which mine is 165, so I'm just gonna scan over. Then I'm gonna put in my goal weight. So I'm gonna say that I'm trying to lose five pounds. So this is where my fitness pal is gonna basically do the rough math for you. You can set your weekly goal of pounds that you wanna either lose, maintain, or gain. Underneath the goal weight, you're gonna see the weekly goal. This is my fitness pal doing the rough math for you, whether you wanna lose weight, maintain, or gain weight. I'm gonna click on the weekly goal. I'm actually, I'm gonna keep it at one pound because consistency over intensity always wins. So I'm doing one pound per week. I would highly suggest that you don't go above 1.5 to start. That's gonna be about 750 calories. That's a big drop if you're not doing any dieting at all right now. I will tell you for the first week of using my fitness pal, it's very smart to just track what you're simply eating. Don't change the foods, don't get healthier, whatever. Just document what you're eating so you can learn what a portion size really is. A lot of people don't realize that. Underneath that, you're gonna see your activity level. Think in terms of what you do on a daily basis for work. So typically most people work five days a week. If you're at a desk all day, you're not very active. If you work construction, hardcore stuff, if you're in healthcare and you're moving all the time, that would be quite active. I would always err on the side of caution. I think that my job is fairly active as a nurse, but I'm gonna go lightly active because I don't wanna overshoot the calories, okay? This is not taking into account your actual working out, or your training of any sort. All right, so now if I go back, I've hit the back arrow in the up left-hand corner, and then I hit the home button on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see my total calories there. It's saying 1,800 is what it's gonna be. All right, now that we have the calories in, we need to go back in and set the actual macros. Right here, I wanna tell you that the calories, it's the most important factor in, again, losing weight, maintaining weight, or gaining weight. Macros are important, but if you are not hitting the caloric number, it does not matter what your macros are. Now, if you're confused about what macros actually are, I will link a video in the description above here and in the description below 
of what it actually is, but ultimately proteins, fats, and carbs make up the actual calories of the food. Now that we're gonna set up our macros, click on, it says remaining, calories remaining. Click on that, click on more at the bottom right hand corner again. Go back to goals. You'll see there calories, carbs, proteins, and fat goals. Click on that. When it comes to macronutrients, protein is king. It is responsible for rebuilding muscle, all that. So you want to click on protein and you see you can arrange it by percentage here. I'm just going to tell you, just shoot for your body weight. Okay, just shoot for your body weight. A lot of people, that's even tough to get, but it's a good start. 165 for me would be... So the closest to it is gonna be 158. So I'm gonna do 35% on the protein. When it comes to fats, look, there's a billion ways you can do this as well. 25% is a safe and good way to start. And you make the remaining bit of the calories or macros up from carbs. You see that it's 110%. That means that I have to drop something, which means I'm dropping down the carbs down to 40%. All right, that's it. You got your macros set. You can play with these numbers just like you can play with the calories. It's all a learning game. Okay, we're on the last step, how to scan or input the food into the app. There's two ways you can do this. One is typing it in and two is scanning it in. If you see a barcode, you're gonna be really happy about this, I promise. Click on calories or calories remaining. That's the number to the right. And what you wanna do is you're gonna see breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to put it into each individual spot. I, I don't really do that. I just usually pick breakfast and throw it all in because I just need to know the total calories and macros for the day. You wanna add a food. So you see, I'm gonna put it on lunch, okay? I'm gonna type in Quaker oats, lower sugar. And here we go. You can see that the it has one packet, so you can change the number of servings, however many you had. I'm gonna have one packet, and then there it is. It breaks down all the macros for you. You can go in there and click and see. You can click on your uh, calories remaining, and it will tell you exactly how many actual macros you have left. So it's very, very narrowed down for you. Now, the really cool thing is, if you don't wanna have to go search for it, you can add food, See the barcode scanner there? You're going to scan that barcode, and there it is. It brings up that one serving. You can again change the serving, whatever you need to do. Let's say that for some reason the barcode doesn't work or you don't have the box, uh, and you could not find the actual name brand of Quaker Oats. There's still gonna be some sort of generic option. So you can just put in oats. You will be able to, so right there, see there's a generic oats, and then you can still put in your serving size, which this is where I would highly recommend invest in something like a scale, measuring cup, measuring spoons, very important to be accurate with it. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. As promised, I'm gonna show you how to quickly put food in in five seconds or less. If you are a habitual eater, you are eventually gonna to start to see this, add breakfast from seven days ago. Swipe right to add meal. If you're a habitual eater, and like I said, I put everything in the breakfast column, Pretty much all the food, food I eat, it goes right there. So it just added a thousand calories of the day. That is an option that populates every now and then, not very regularly. So if you want to make it a one-click option kind of deal, you can go into more, the more tab, and then click on my meals, recipes, and food. And then you can see under meals, you can create a meal. So if I had oats, eggs, you can make that meal. And then it's just a quick little add. So essentially you can make up all your meals that you normally eat and very quickly add it in in five seconds or less. There's that tip for you. You're welcome. Calories in versus calories out is the ultimate determining factor of whether you're gonna lose, maintain, or gain weight. If you keep it super simple, you're gonna make it easier for yourself to stick to it to get that goal that you want. My Fitness Pal is a fantastic free resource that's a great rough estimate on how to get started and how to keep going. I don't think you have to use My Fitness Pal for the rest of your life, but it really gives you calorie awareness and helps you understand what's in the food that you're actually eating. If you want some more accurate resources or just resources in general that I think are really gonna help you, I'm gonna provide a link down in the description below. You don't have to be perfect at this My Fitness Pal thing. Just be better than yesterday, every day.